So what do you, how do you feel about, you know, the first couple months you live with me? What has been the most annoying thing about me? Uh, and choose wisely. Hmm. Well, I mean, uh, I hate waking up during the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. To somebody cutting a tree down with a chainsaw every night. That's how we cut. While the rest of the family is at conference, Bryce and I are house-sitting. You smell good, Jesse. Tonight, I'm making dinner for Bryce and I. Since he got home from work, uh, I thought it'd be cool to, you know, make us some dinner and just us for us to, you know, sit and talk and, you know, catch up and just chill. This is the first time we've been back to Mom and Dad's house in a long time since mm -hmm. I've moved out. Mm -hmm. yeah, like alone while. without them. <laughs> been a while. Mm-hmm. This wrap's pretty good. I'm glad you like it. You always make the best food. Not the best. It's all right. It's all right. It's Not good. the best. I think she is the best cook in the world. Also, you know, because I love her very much. But I really think she is. You know, I mean, she makes great food. I always love what she makes. And I can't wait to eat pretty much what she makes the rest of our lives. Mom and Dad, uh, they were talking to me. And they kind of told me how uh, that we remind them a lot of how they were when they were younger. Dad said, you remind him whenever he was younger working because dad just worked all the time. The ways that Bryce can be very similar to my dad is definitely his worth ethic. Bryce is um, a very hard worker and um, oh, yeah. he can just deal with me. My dad deals with me and my imperfections that I have. So Bryce deals with that too. And then I like beer. Yeah, yeah, that too. This is the first time I've never been to a convention with him. I was the only one that stayed back. I had never been to one. You might go next year. After I get married and we settle down and if kids do come into the picture, us going to the convention literally depends on if our kids are little or tall or both. If we have all tall, it really wouldn't make as much sense to bring our kids to something like that just because I would be the only little one. It's nice that we kind of get to have times like this. And like, you still get to come over to my house, but it sucks that you aren't able to move in soon. So I'm just ready for it. I am too, trust me. House sitting at my parents' house, it's kind of nice because, you know, one day I'm hoping to have a house this nice. And having Bryce here, it kind of gives like an insight on what life could be like in a home. You want to go watch a movie or something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe. Yeah, how much I love you? Oh. Yes. God, I thought something happened. Jeez. No. We're here. This is pretty. Let's go take a looky. Today, Bryce and I are looking at a house because Bryce and I, you know, have been talking about moving in with each other. We've talked about maybe renting. We're also looking at houses that we can buy just because um, I've been saving up a lot of money. And yeah, we're just going to see if we like it. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Awesome, y'all come on in. After we uh, move in together, I see our relationship, you know, going on and going on forever, you know, just because I know I'd be very excited living with her. Me and her are just going to live the rest of our lives together, you know, so that's what I feel like. This is a four bed, two and a half bath, a little over 2,400 square feet. I love this gray color. So where are y'all living at now? It's a rental home, but it's 950 square feet. So yeah, Ooh. this is a big difference oh, yeah. than what I'm in right now. But now I feel like I'm ready to take on a bigger property and even possibility of buying a home. Liz and Bryce are absolutely awesome. I have not had a little person as a client before. I say it's, it's been just as fun as any other client relationship. So coming in and seeing what features are particularly important to Liz and her needs and also Bryce at the same time, paying special attention to what accessibility features and things like that has been actually a really fun challenge to go through. We have a, a dog and he needs a lot more room than what I'm currently living in right now. So Fantastic. this is great. I think it's gonna be a great option for y'all. Yeah. So y'all feel free, walk around. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be right here. Okay. And cool. let me know what you think at the end. Thank right. you. Of course. Our must haves, we definitely need a pretty big living room just because we're so family oriented, so we need more space for gathering and hanging out. Big backyard or big front yard, go upstairs. Mm -hmm. 
My must-haves are pretty much the same thing. With that, I do want a bigger bedroom too, just because I have a lot of stuff. He definitely has a lot more stuff than me. All his taxidermy stuff that he likes to do for a hobby, a crap ton of movies that he has, and then like there's so much stuff just in boxes. Like I don't even know what's in these boxes yet, but just a lot, a lot of stuff in boxes. Oh, this must be the holy. It's just like the size of my house right now. I'd be able to fit everything in here. This is nice. This is huge. You know how Dad, how we joke about, oh, Dad, you had 26 coolers upstairs. He did. Well, he's got a lot of stuff that he could, you know, get rid of. So I'm being Amber in this position, and this is Trent. But he's being stubborn. Y'all can use it one day. We can. We can use everything I got. <laughs> this is all. Wow. What will be your must-haves when you buy your first home? Plenty of space and a good location. A good AC unit, because if that doesn't work, everybody's miserable. Wi-Fi. So should we post for TikToks? Yeah. A probably a workout room. Gym. <laughs> Just so when they say, oh, honey, you look so fit. I have a workout room. It's a gym. That's what a workout room is. But I say a workout room, so shut up. I like, I like just walking in showers. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, I like how it has a shower and a tub. I will not be renovating any home to uh, meet my height standards. I am on the taller spectrum of being a dwarf, so I really don't think about modifications about the house. I like the toilet's like closed off. Yeah. Good, so I don't have to smell your stinky foot. I really have always just stuck with stools and ladders and just being able to adapt. Any questions so far? Oh, um, it's really nice. That master, master bedroom is mm -hmm. really nice. We like that a lot. Um, pretty much, I guess, first we'll go ahead and get the, you know, biggest question out of the way. Absolutely. How much is this house listed for? Um. You ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So our journey for house hunting, ever since we looked at that last house, it was nice space-wise, but the one thing that really just kind of struck us uh, in the end was just the price. I think we're just, you know, buying-wise for a house, we're gonna definitely wait for the market to come down, and we are going to be resorting to finding a, another house that we could rent. Here we are. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. It already looks much nicer than our place, for sure. The house is nice. It's just this is bigger. Yeah, it is a lot. This bigger. right here, just this is my house. Uh, we got a lot more room in here. Mm -hmm. Holy yeah. crap! I mean, this this real nice. So this house um, is you know west of where my parents live, and it's on six acres of land. I like this place just because I really like land, and I think it'd be a nice first place to be. You know, just because, you know, it's hard to find land nowadays. Nice. Uh, and we have a pantry. Yeah, we got a pantry, yeah. Oh, we got food in there, but no. <laughs> yeah, he said that uh, none of it's bad. He said some, uh, most of it's fairly new, so. I'm sorry, but this, holy crap, yay. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I found this place because there's a guy I work with. When me and her were trying to find somewhere, I mentioned something to him, and he's like, well, you know what? I actually own a some houses, and he told me about this one. All right, and this is gonna be our bedroom. And then the bathroom. Freaking love this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my God, this is like six of my bathroom. <laughs> wow. Mm, I love it. Yeah, it's nice, and it's on lots of land. Mm -hmm. And there's a few things that um, Matt's gonna come here and fix. Um, oh, yeah. I'll show you I'm like- I'm moving in with it right now, walls. I don't care. And then, I don't care. I would move in it right now. Um, I personally like the house and how it has a plenty of more room, a room for Bryce to put all of his stuff in and a room for like a guest bedroom and then our room, a bigger living room. I mean, the fact that it just has a lot more space than my original house did, it's great. This is another big old bedroom. Yeah. What if we did this, your little room, like with your stuff in it, and then we did this like the guest bedroom? That, since we got the bathroom next to it. Yeah. So Emma don't have to keep sleeping on my couch whenever she stays the night. Yeah. 
I am definitely excited to have a guest bedroom and bathroom for when we have uh, people over like my sisters or family or his brother and his family come over. One thing, where should we keep my deer freezer? A deer freezer is what I call just a freezer that I fill stack full of deer meat. Your deer freezer, so what I was gonna do is because my table's not as long as that and then we could put your deer freezer up against here. So your deer freezer is gonna go here. Mm -hmm. So he just recently harvested a deer and he just got his meat in. I love deer meat. She does too. He has him a little freezer he can put in the house, but we just wanted to make sure it could fit and we got a perfect spot for it. Well, I'd say we could call this home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dad's gonna like this. Dad was super nervous about this, but Dad's definitely oh, yeah. gonna like this. I know he is. Living together, I'm really just looking forward to you honestly being able to wake up with him. I just love to wake up next to her every day instead of on my own. And I'll have somebody to wake up to, and um, it'll just make me happy. And then uh, just, just getting to be with, be with each other every day is going to be worth it. All righty. You going to tell Matt this is it? Yeah, I'll tell you. Okie dokie. <laughs> now we're going to bring Bill in here. Yeah. So how is it? What are y'all, two months in? You're almost living three. together? Yes, sir. Almost three months. Yes, sir. How is it so far? It's going good. It's me and Bryce in this garage. Here's my chance to talk to my daughter's boyfriend and say, how's it going? I'm curious. Any fussing yet? Mm. If you tell me yes, then I believe you. If you tell me no, then I don't believe you. It, it happens. I mean, you're right. It does happen. Every now and then, it'll go like that. But it does. It's just part of it. Y'all just got to get it figured out. Yes, sir. I would say it is a little awkward talking to you know, him about our relationship, just because, I mean, it's her dad. And of course, I'm going to be nervous talking to whatever, you know, whatever me and her had been going on. And um, I just want to, you know, just make every, make sure everything's OK with me and her, you know. Y'all can be dating for four years, three years, like y'all have been. But until you live together nonstop. Yes, <laughs> Shoot, me and Amber lived together. We thought we had it made. We thought we knew. Since living with Bryce, it's, you know, giving us an insight on what living together for the rest of our lives could be like. Because we literally wake up together, go to work, come back home, cook breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's just literally a revolving door of just doing the same thing over and over and over again. And those are just some of the things that I've just voiced to him where I feel like it's just, I'm on repeat. And I'm not one of those people that likes to be on repeat. What's been your, your biggest struggle? Don't tell me nothing. It's all been good. Um, hmm. Elizabeth's personality is a lot like mine. Um, she's extremely headstrong. Once her mind is made up, that's it. And she's very independent and she's very social. As long as you're on the Elizabeth's side of the fence and, and you're agreeing with her decision, you're going to be a good match. Sometimes we don't get along at, like, who cleans the kitchen or cleaning up stuff. Y'all work that out. If cleaning the kitchen is going to be your struggle, y'all going to be all right. <laughs> Me and her will, like, argue about sometimes about who cleans what and other, other stuff. I know what Dad's saying is right now what we're arguing about, it could be worse. And I understand that. But there, you know, there's just little things that could be fixed. Because when you're living together, you just really don't want it to feel like roommates. You want to feel like it's more. And lately, that's what's kind of just felt like. We were roommates. And so I decided to speak up for once and to try to fix it. So, well, and yeah. like, like I always told you, no matter what kind of arguments you have, we'll always get through it. So. Mm -hmm. Be good to each other. Yes, sir. She starts acting out. Y'all got to talk it out. Mm -hmm. You start acting out. Y'all got to talk it out. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just how it's how it is. And when y'all can no longer talk and fix through problems, then that's when the real problem starts. That's a problem by itself. With Amber and I both being little people, and people ask us, does this make your relationship easier because y'all are both little people. Absolutely. 
I want it easier. No, well, no. relatable. Relatable. I don't want to say that it is easier because, quite frankly, it would be easier for me to be married to an average size person because then I got someone that can reach stuff. But I don't look at easy or what's you know, more difficult in a relationship based on height. All right, let's go in and check these out, see how these fit. All right. Bottom line, we want our kids happy and we want them successful, but do we think that for their lives, a little person is going to relate and have a better understanding than average size people would? Yeah. They're strong. Nice. Well, just like we did at the old house. Can you step over? Can you, like, reach your knobs and... Oh, yeah. There's not necessarily anything that I'm annoyed with with Bryce, but things that I'm just struggling with is just more... It feels like we are just simply roommates than just being in a relationship. I felt like when I moved him into this home, it would give him a realization of, wow, I'm on my own. I don't have parental supervision. I felt like that maybe could have clicked in his head of, you know, wanting to just go out, wanting to just try new things, wanting to just do more things with me besides the same old things that we do. I asked him, how is it? I said, even though you've been dating together for three and a half years? Yeah, it's totally different. It's totally Change. different. What did you say about, the only thing I really fussed about was like cleaning or cleaning the kitchen? No, putting things together we fussed about. <laughs> And I think, it's fun. I think it's funny whenever me and her go fishing or something. Pulling that freaking canoe. And we always get mad at each other. Well, when we go canoeing, because, like I said, like if I catch more fish than she does, like she just won't talk to me and she'll just have that mad look. Bless y'all's heart. If your struggles are fishing arguments and fishing struggles right now, then I mean. I mean, there's. Off and on struggles, but not making Just wait struggles. till holidays come around and... Oh, there's already a struggle with that. It's extremely important in order to keep a relationship lively and, you know, engaged um, to, number one, first and foremost, communicate with each other. What's been our biggest um, issue is the things that I want is not necessarily the things that he wants. And so we have to come to a compromise, but it's hard to get there. All right, are well, you ready to go clean up? <sighs> what are you doing? I'm decorating, what are you doing? I'm decorating. Decorating? Yeah. For your room? Uh, I was hoping to put it somewhere in here. Today, Bryce and I are finishing up decorating our living room. We're just, you know, wrapping up the final touches um, with our house since we've been living here for a couple of months now. We, That's huge. We don't have enough stuff in here. I mean, this will look perfect. And plus, it'll- We don't have enough stuff in here. Plus, it'll, it'll look more like us. We already got one right there. Uh, will you let me put it in here? My aesthetic for the house, you know, it has not changed since the last house that I've lived in. It's very similar to mom. I'm pretty much an Amber Johnston when it comes to decorating. Rustic, modern, clean, and neutral. Maybe move that middle picture and put it no. right there? <laughs> no, because how are you going to be able to sit on the couch? Your head's going to hit it. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could put it somewhere over here. Yeah, let me take down my really cute picture that I have up here for your deer. My own personal style, I mean, apparently it is a little bit different than hers. I just like the outdoor stuff, you know, like deer and um, fish, and I know she does too. She just, you know, I don't know. I mean, I like it to an extent, but I don't want every wall to have a creature's head on it. I told Bryce too in the beginning, yeah, we might do a deer head eventually, but I didn't know that was gonna be today. I like it. I guess. It's looking right at me. I'm gonna have one more deer right here in the future. One and more? Then one more right here. No. Bryce, what is the appropriate amount of deer heads to have in your home? Five or six. So what do you how do you feel about, you know, the first couple months you live with me? What has been the most annoying 
thing about me. Mm. And choose wisely. Hmm. Well, I mean, uh, I hate waking up during the middle of the night. Mm-hmm. To somebody cutting a tree down with a chainsaw every night. That's how we cut. These last couple of months living with Bryce, we may not be arguing or fighting, but I feel like there is a little bit of disconnection between him and I in our relationship because it really has felt like him and I have been roommates more than a couple. And I'm not quite sure if it's he's just gotten way too comfortable with where he is at with me and him in our relationship or if there is something else going on with him. Well, since you asked me, mm -hmm. what's the most annoying part about me? God, it is the biggest pet peeve of mine because Dad and Jonah, it's only like the guys do it. When you leave your beer bottle caps just sitting everywhere. Um, like, I will find them everywhere. One, because I don't want Miller to choke on it, but two, now I understand my mom just gets... Well, I'm glad that you're not annoyed with a lot of things of me. We know, because I just deal with it. Just like you should deal with my snoring. I try to, but I can't. Do you feel like you've learned a lot about each other living together full time now? No. I haven't learned anything different living with him. I'm not being mean. I mean, I'm, I'm living with the same person that I've met, been knowing for almost four years now. There's not really been a big, huge change. And don't say you're snoring, because you've known that I've snored the longest time that we've been dating, so. Feel the same way, Bryce? Yeah, I, I pretty much feel the same way. Um, you know, like of all she said, um, like. Well. Not really, you haven't learned anything new about me since I mean, leaving. Because I know that, you know, when I come visit, I mean, you were always cleaning, and I can see you, you're always cleaning this house, even though it don't really need to be clean. I just wipe stuff um, down, like I can cook. Well, yeah, and, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, it's uh, pretty much the same, you know, like how I would come visit her, you know, I mean, we're doing the same stuff and that kind of stuff, but except the only difference is, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm living here now, so I get to see it every day and all that kind of stuff. Darn, every day. Yeah, I can't wait to see what the future's got planned for us.